When there doesn't seem to be a road forward with diplomacy, religious organizations can create new paths. This is something that the ambassador of the European Union to the Holy See, Alexandra Valkenberg, appreciates in the midst of the war in Ukraine. It's also about understanding the positions of the Holy See and understanding what kind of role uh, the Holy See um, uh, could play and a bit, little bit um, uh, explaining maybe to our headquarters of the role of, the, of religion in this whole conflict and, and how uh, and also what uh, religious organizations hopefully can contribute to uh, to finding a, a solution uh, for this, uh, this conflict. During the war, it's important to have the perspective of those on the ground, as well as diplomatic sources. I think right now, uh, some of the religious organizations play a very important role in, in, um, in maybe being our eyes and ears of what is going on, but also in helping people. Despite Pope Francis's appeals for peace, the Orthodox Patriarch of Moscow's response does not encourage hope. These two religious leaders and, uh, and their organizations can contribute uh, to, to, um, to a peaceful solution and, and at least can contribute to, to, to having this dialogue uh, because um, only if we speak to each other can we in the end uh, reach, a, reach a solution. Even in this period of war, the ambassador finds a reason to have European pride. It's, it's very positive that we see uh, this, this very strong uh, solidarity towards uh, the internally displaced people, towards the refugees um, uh, from, from Ukraine uh, that are now seeking refuge in, uh, in, in European Union member states. A welcome that has been encouraged and applauded by Pope Francis and most institutions in the Catholic Church.